an x-ray that can really catch you out. Let's go through the case. The right lung is abnormal. Firstly, we can see there's a dense hilum, while there's also an opacity within the mid-zone of the right lung. Whenever we see an opacity like this, it's important to think is it either an airspace opacity, where something's filling the alveoli, also known as consolidation, or is it an interstitial opacity? Now this isn't really a technical term, but airspace opacity can look a little fluffy, whilst interstitial abnormality looks more like lines and dots. Also with airspace opacity, you may see small circular lucencies called air bronchograms, and I think this is what we can see here. So this is right mid-zone consolidation. However, don't stop there. There's also something going on here at the lung apices. Now this is really subtle, but if you look at the right side compared with the left side, you can just make out an opacity here on the right. Now for something even more subtle. So it's important to outline the cortex of each rib. If we start to outline the inner border of this rib over here, we'll see that part of the cortex is missing. This is rib erosion. So with our findings so far, what's the differential diagnosis? Well, given the apical opacity and the rib erosion, I think we can cross off typical pneumonia from the list. And given this is such a young patient, lung cancer is less likely, meaning we're really thinking about TB in this case. Now let's look at the CT scan. So if we look at the right apex, we'll see there's a pleural fluid collection here, which accounts for the abnormality we can see on the x-ray. If we look at the chest wall, we can now see there are lesions that are eroding bones, and this is why we have the bone abnormality on the chest x-ray. And like the x-ray, we can see there's consolidation within the right lung. This posterior consolidation here accounts for the dense hilum we can see on the x-ray. However, if we look a little closer at the CT, we can see there's this little area of contrast enhancement that flashes in and out and doesn't look like a normal vessel. This is suspicious for a pseudoaneurysm which can form in TB because the infection weakens the vessel walls. This was the cause of the hemoptysis, and this was successfully embolized by interventional radiologists, and the patient had a good recovery. So the lesson here is even if you see a big abnormality on an x-ray, don't stop there. Check all your review areas. Look at the lung apices, review the bone.